Hi, I'm David, one of the co-founders here at Sonix. Sonix was built with multi-user capabilities from day one. And today I'd like to talk to you about them. Um, we will start off with user management, then we'll go a bit more into user permissions, and finally folder permissions. So with that, let's get started. Once you log into Sonix, uh, you will be presented with the screen and depending on what you've uploaded uh, and how you've organized your files, uh, if you click on your name and you go to manage team members, you will see all the different team members that are uh, part of your team right here. I'm a big fan of the 2015 Minions movie, so this is my sense of humor. And my favorite is uh, the one-eyed minion, Stuart. So you can see kind of the current user role, which is view only, and you can change uh, our minions uh, role to update the role and there we go. This is where you will invite new team members right up here or update their roles once they are part of your team. If you scroll down, you will see all the different types of user permissions that we have here at Sonic. The admin, which because I'm making this video, I think most of you guys will be admins, can do everything, including managing users and billing. Producers are the step right below admins where you can still do everything except you do not handle billing or any user information. Uh, a normal team member, can only edit their transcripts, can only translate their own transcripts, and can only realign their own transcripts. But they'll be able to view all files uh, that they have access to and also upload and transcribe. Individual members can only view their files. Editors cannot upload and transcribe, they can only view and edit. And finally, view only means that you can only view. We have a few other external editor. They can only edit files that they were explicitly given access to. So they cannot browse all of your team folders. And then external view only, same exact thing. Um, again, the difference between the editor and the view only is the editor can only edit the transcripts that they have access to. And finally, we have a disabled state. That's a quick breakdown of the permissioning here at Sonix and the different roles. But we want to make sure that you as the admin have complete control about how your files and transcripts are shared and accessed among your team members. Finally, I wanna to talk to you about user permissions. I created a folder here that is restricted. So if we click into that folder, by clicking on the shield, you can change the permissions of the restricted folder. So at the very top, you can see who can access this folder, the entire team, everyone can find and access the files and transcripts. If you wanna be a little bit more broad, you can have the entire team and external members. So this will allow external members to see that this directory exists. You can just only invite specific people to it. Now, bear in mind that all admins will be able to see all folders. So that's why your name is not in here, only the minion is. So we'll go back to the entire team. Now, within folder permissions, we also have a share and export feature. If it is enabled, then everyone who has access to this can share and export their transcripts. However, if it's restricted, this will also apply to admins. Sharing and exporting of all transcripts is completely disabled for this folder. All right, that's it. That's just a brief overview of Sonix's capabilities for managing the access uh, for both your team and the files and folders within your Sonix account. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at wecare at sonics.ai. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.